Right, so we continue with our N5 lesson on differentiation of inverse trig functions. So this is not the first lesson. We're continuing from where we stopped last time. Right, so let's then start with number eight. All right, so I've got two times inverse sine. Plus inverse cot of x over 4. All right, so now let's look at what we're going to be dealing with here. We are dealing with inverse sine and then inverse cot. So your table of derivatives here, if y is equal to inverse sine f of x, and we are dealing with y is equal to inverse cot f of x. Alright, so these are the formulas. So let's differentiate this here. The dy over dx, the derivative of inverse sine, that will be f prime x all over the square root of 1 minus f of x all squared. So that is a formula to differentiate inverse sine. And the inverse tan, uh, sorry, inverse cot, that will be a minus f prime x all divided by 1 plus f of x all squared. Okay. So I told you these are the actual formulas. The one on the formula sheet is just an example. Right. So you make sure you know it this way. Or you figure out a way to use the formula sheet and make it work. Right, so now let's find our dy over dx. So here I got 2 times inverse sine or arc sine of square root x. So here clearly my f of x here is square root x. So f prime x. The derivative here is going to be, first of all, I've got my 2 there times f prime x will be half x to the power minus half. That's clear. Square root x is f of x. Then we got the square root of 1 minus, so that will be 1 minus f of x, which is the square root of x all squared. Alright, simple. We're just following what's here now. f prime x all over the square root of 1 minus f of x all squared. Then we got plus here inverse cot of x over 4. So this formula also with a negative. So if I put my negative here and then f prime x, f of x is 1 over 4x. You can see that. So when you differentiate 1 over 4x, it's just 1 over 4 all divided by, there's no square root here, so that's 1 plus f of x all squared. Right, now, let's simplify. What is there to simplify? Only 2 times 1 over 2, that's positive 1. x to the power minus half, I can take it to the denominator, it will become x to the power positive half which is just the square root of x here. That's a square root of 1 minus the square root of x all squared is just x here. Well, do we really need to simplify positive times negative is a negative, 1 over 4. And here I can go 1 plus, that can be x squared all over 16. Okay, in the exam, that's fine as it is. Textbook final answer, somebody just check that for me. Is it okay? Let me just double check here. How much we're gonna simplify this year for our textbook? In the exam, it's fine as it is. So let's go for 2.11. This is the number. Alright, so the textbook final answer is simplified further. Alright. So let's we, we're gonna simplify our answers fully. So I'm going to simplify this fully. So I've got minus 1 over 4. And then I'm going to find an LCD here. So my LCD is going to be 16. So that becomes 16 over 16 plus 
x squared over 16. So that becomes 1 over square root x, 1 minus this. There's nothing more to do here. Right, there's nothing more to do here, but here, that's my minus 1 over 4, and I got 16 plus x squared all over my LCD, my common denominator there, which is 16. What do I have now? A fraction divided by a fraction, so I'm going to invert and multiply. So that's equal to 1 over square root x times 1 minus uh, x. <coughs> that becomes minus 1 over 4 multiplied by 16 all over 16 plus x squared. What can we do? Just divide 16 divided by 4 and you're done. So that's going to be 1 over the square root of x times the square root of 1 minus x. 16 divided by 4, that will be 4 all over. 16 plus x squared. This is simplified. Okay. But at this stage, it's acceptable in your exam. If the question states simplification is not required, which is 99% of the time, then it's acceptable. This is simplification if you want to improve your skills with simply, obviously, this is the basic maths. You need the basic maths done properly first. All right, so that was the first one. I'm going to erase the board and we move on to the next one.